Hey everybody, it's Mr. Giles. We're gonna talk about how to add sound effects in the ClipChamp. This is gonna be really particular to my class, but some of the things I'm gonna do will work for anybody adding sound effects to ClipChamp. Okay, so first off, if you don't have access to sound effects, um, you can go here. Uh, this is uh, for people playing along at home. Uh, this link will get you to the sound effects uh, that, that I'm using in this particular tutorial. Okay, so uh, first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up ClipChamp and you've gotta have ClipChamp and you have to have a video loaded. I'm not going into how you do any of that, okay? That's that's just gonna be sec first thing. To get a sound effect in, in my class, the easiest way is that on the desktop of your computer, you have a link that says LH Giles Share. Um, I, this folder changes every year, so um, that's why I'm making a special video for this. Inside, there's a sound effects and songs folder. I have all kinds of sound effects, but the one that we're going to use is called Alan Becker Animation vs. Animator. You go into the giveaway, and there are just hundreds of sound effects in here, okay? At least a hundred. Now, let's see, how many are there? There are 405 different sound effects in here. A lot of the really good ones are the thuds. Um, you have the punches, the pops, you have pencil sounds, so if someone's drawing with a pencil, you have lasers, you have keyboard typing, footsteps are great for like running and walking, grass step, footstep, um, doors opening, dinos growling are good for any sort of monster sound. So in my animation, I have a box falling to the ground, and I'll just show you that, okay? So I want to get the sound of the box hitting the ground, and then the guy hitting the ground. And I want a big sound for the box. So I'm going to get right there. I'm going to pause the playhead right where the box hits the ground. And you can go forward one frame at a time using the regular arrow. Actually, no, you can't. Maybe I lied. Uh, how do I go one frame at a time with this? Nope. I'm going to figure that out. If you know how to go one frame at a time with the champ, let me know. I would love to know that. But I'm going to just pull it right there. OK. So then you find any sound in here. Deep impact. I'm gonna drag that in and see how that sounds. So I'm gonna click on it. Oh, that's pretty good. Boom. That sounds like a big thumpy sound. Let's let's see that with the video. Oh yeah. So that's that's pretty big. So it's gonna hit, and then he's gonna hit the ground. I'm gonna use a different sound for that. I'm gonna use a thud. Um, let's go down to the T's. By the way, if you're in a big folder with lots of things, if you click on one file just one time and hit the letter T, it will jump which is a nice, nice thing. I'm gonna go thud medium, just to see what that sounds like. Yeah, sure. Let's see how that sounds. Nice. And then, um, I use whooshes a lot. So like when he gets up, I'm gonna use a whoosh sound, just because having a sound for everything that's happening tends to be more interesting. So I'm gonna click on the thing, hit W to jump, and whoosh, I'll just drag this whoosh in. Yeah, that's good. There's the sound of him getting up. And then, I don't know, I, I don't know if I have a specific sound I need to make it sound like he's kind of pushing a heavy object. That would involve a little more research on my part. If you don't like a sound, or you want it to be quieter or louder, you can click on the sound and you can adjust the volume. You can't actually adjust them louder, but you can make them quieter, so if they're too loud, um, you can do that. You can also fade a sound out, so at the beginning or the end of a sound effect, you can make it either fade out. So I'm actually going to make the deep impact fade out um, because it's kind of lasts long. It's here. And there we go. And that fades out a little earlier. Um, and uh, that's a good way if you have lots of sounds overlapping and you want them to not start and stop suddenly. Okay, there you go. Uh, the LH uh, folder on my drive, or if you are playing along at home, just remember you're going to go to the bit.ly link, which is right here. And I hope that's helpful, and that's uh, how you work with it. If you want to delete the sound, just click on them and hit the delete key. You know, change it, move it, drag it. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.